So we've got a short video this morning on a Mariner 42 stroke 6E9. This is pretty much the same as the Mariner 40 as well in the 6E9 category. It's made under license in Japan for Mariner. Um, and today we're gonna we're gonna go through how to check your thermostat. Now the thermostat's on the cylinder head on these engines, and it's held on with four M10 bolts. So use a 10 10 mil socket to take these off. Thermostat's inside of here. So one thing I've done is I've just taken the the HT lead boot off just to give a bit more access to this bolt here. So we'll go ahead and remove the four bolts that are on. It's fairly straightforward. Just remove each one in turn. And there we go, there's all four off. Now there's a spring, which is why it's pushing the thermostat cover back. Springs there with the gasket. And what we've got is we've got a little sort of plug here, and the thermostat's on the left. So we'll remove both, and we'll give them inspect the passageways, and then we'll give them a, a test in some hot water just to make sure they're still operating. So take that little little plug out first. And as you can see, because it's been operating in salt water, sand. It's quite a bit of sediment on there. I'm sure that's a little boot, a little plug. So we'll remove that, but I'll pull the thermostat out first, just using some pliers, just to try and grip it. Don't want to damage it, but we also want to get it out. Might be easier if I just get a, a little flat bed or a little pick just to pick it out. I say most of the time you can just pull them out with pliers, but I, I believe Looking at this, I don't think this has been off for a long time, so sometimes just a little pick to get behind things and you can just pop them out. So there's that little sort of rubber insert pulled out. I'm trying to do the same with this thermostat. There we go, it's coming out. There, that's the thermostat out as well. So we can have a little look inside there. A little bit of sediment in there, but nothing that can't get sort of scraped out and flushed out next time the engines run. I'll try and get the majority out here because I don't want it to go into the exhaust jacket and block anything. So I'm just giving it a scrape around inside just to see how much there is in there. And to be honest, there's not actually that much. So I'm not overly concerned. I don't think the jacket's going to be full or anything. And considering the age of the engine, I think we've got away lightly with it. So we'll go inside now and we'll test that thermostat and clean the little rubber boots off. So I've just got some hot water here and we'll just pour it in onto the thermostat and just see if it operates. It's a fairly old one so I'm not sure whether it is or not. Let's see if we can get it out there and have a little look. Yeah, it is lifting, but not very much. So I don't know if you can see that when I actually push the thermostat out, there is a bit of sort of build-up on the stem there. So I don't know if that's inhibiting it opening and closing. So I'll see if I can scrape all that off and test it again. So with this thermostat, I've run it under cold water and it's still open. I've cleaned it off as best as I can but as you can see it's still protruding and it's still open. You can see from behind there's daylight if you can see it on the camera but I can see daylight down the bottom corners here so this thermostat will have to be replaced and I'll get a new gasket for it at the same time. Just can't take the risk putting a thermostat in like this. I mean yes this one sort of failed in the open position but Who's to say when it, once it's in the engine and the engine's rattling, shaking in the heat, but it doesn't just snap shut and it doesn't open again because it's not seating properly. 
and I've cleaned the faces and it's still not seating so I don't know it's obviously something binding up inside or it's it's stuck anyway so we'll go for a new one of these before we do anything with the engine but we can still we can still run the engine with without the thermostat but it's not advised in a pinch if it did fail you could take it out and keep run the engine but long term you you're accelerating the the wear of the engine. It'll smoke a lot more. You'll foul the plugs. You're not gonna you're not gonna eat. You're not gonna reach the operating the the, um, the operating temperature that the engine's designed for. So you will just wear the engine out a lot quicker. So we will we will change this. So for the assembly, so we're gonna go in the reverse order. Just push that rubber boot back in there, and we'll slide that plug in. Now also you're putting your thermostat in now, but I'm waiting for a new one. So for now I'm just going to put the cover back on. And when that new thermostat arrives, it's as simple as just taking the cover off and fitting the new one. So once the four bolts are on, that will be you sorted. And I hope that's given you sort of some insight as to how, how to change a thermostat on a Mariner or a Yamaha 6E9. 40 horsepower, two stroke. Thanks for watching.